Well, come to live in Pinkland. It's been a while, huh? That's what you're wondering, aren't you? I'm hearing you. Ooh, ooh, freaky stuff. Anyway, so I haven't been doing many live in Pinklands lately because I've been busy with work, sadly, and with real life stuff and with random stuff I decided to invest my time in that's been keeping me busy. Like, I participated in an internal StarCraft 2 tournament, uh, got to the round of 8, and then I had to drop out because I invested myself in other stuff like roleplay, so I just can't play the day. I was supposed to play, so that's too bad, but it's okay, there's gonna be more internal Ubisoft tournaments where I will compete and prove to everyone that I am the very best, that like no one ever was. To beat them all is my real test, something something my cause, Diamond League! <laughs> Alright, so what I wanted to talk to you about today is my pathway to my current job because it's a topic that a lot of people have been asking me about in private messages and Twitch and Twitter, emails, like that's the most asked question actually that I just realized today because I was trying to pick a topic and I had to reply to it twice today so I thought about it. So it's pathway to my current job. So what the hell did you do Jen to get a job at Ubisoft? I want to be a game developer too and what do you do there? So. I st it all started out in the wound, my mommy, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so in high school, I was studying, um, I basically took all the classes to go into health science, health science, trying to become like a doctor. And then I, uh, in Quebec, we have this thing called the CEGEP, which is between high school and university. High school only goes through grade one through five and then two years of CEGEP and then university. So basically in CEGEP I applied at a lot of places and in a lot of programs that I went to like the open days to like visit CEGEP and I happened to go to Collège Lionel Groux and I saw there Art, Plas Art Plastique which is the fine arts floor and I was really impressed by what they did and it seemed really awesome and I was like no 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 you're going in health science like just keep your head down and be a good girl <laughs> and then my mom took one of the posters and put it in my room and then I went to the first day of health science classes because I got accepted to a really good one actually and we had there was a special program and I was accepted in it it was like a program where you have to like prove yourself to get in and I got in and I had good grades at the time so basically after the first day I came back home and then I saw the poster, the fine arts poster in my room and I like teared up and I was like oh my god that's what I want to do, I don't want to be there, I won't be happy there, I want to do fine arts. So I told my parents and they're really supportive so they helped me change uh, to fine arts and then I did two years of fine arts and it was really nice and I had good grades again, yay! <laughs> And then I applied for university, but I had no idea what I wanted to do, basically. So I was really, really unsure. And I ended up applying in law at McGill and University of Montreal and like some other uh, university. Um, I applied in marketing because I was interested in that. And I applied even in writing, like French literature, literature writing and what else did I apply in? I didn't even apply in fine, art, fine arts because after two years of fine arts I was kind of done with it like I enjoyed it but I didn't think I wanted to be like a teacher so I figured I'd try something else and since I had no idea what I wanted to do and I had good grades I figured I tried law school because fine arts was like uh, not fine arts sorry marketing seemed easier no offense to anyone like Law school seemed harder, so I figured I'd do the hardest thing first, followed by the easier thing. If I changed my mind, like marketing sounds like a blast, a blast, a blast. A blast. <laughs> marketing sounds like a blast, so I figured I'd do law school first, and then I did it, and then I didn't like it, but I figured I'd finish it. So I finished law school, and when I finished it, as I was doing it. Uh, I started doing side gigs to like keep myself sane. So I started doing modeling. Um, I did that for about a year or two of modeling. It was during my first year of law school and my 
second year for a while and then I stopped modeling because I discovered streaming and I wanted to stream more so I dropped modeling for more streaming time because you can't really have two hobbies when you're in law school you have to pick one if you want to do like decent at it so I decided to do StarCraft streaming and then I really liked it so I started watching everything and trying to cast, trying to do interviews when I started to go to events and then I got super like uh, committed to basically esports and StarCraft and I was trying to do everything I could with my free time to like spend it like that so after I finished university my channel was getting pretty decent sized and I was feeling good about it and I really wanted to get into like casting or interviewing or do something and I knew I wasn't happy with law school so I figured alright let's give it a month uh, not a month let's give it a little while because the timing was good like I finished law school it took me a little longer than it was supposed to like it took me one session more so I finished like in January and then I was like alright what if I give myself up to September to do esports and if nothing happens I'll do bar school because I would do like the long version of bar school which is eight months instead of the short one which is rushed which is four when you finish in December or January whatever so I decided alright so I'm gonna do esports until September if it fails and I go nowhere and I cannot sustain myself I'll drop it out and I'll resign myself to going back to law school and finishing my bar and if it works then freaking good for me so <laughs> I figured I'd try and it all worked out within like two months of me doing it full time uh, so January, uh, January, February, <laughs> math and in April I was at Ubisoft but like I was hired in March and the whole process started in March so basically I did two months of full time streaming and like working in esports and doing interviews and stuff like that uh, I did get to pay my rent with it, but I couldn't pay food. Uh, it was okay, I used my savings, like there's no problem with it. And I was committed to doing it until September, even if I couldn't pay food, I would have like used savings or stuff. And yeah, so I decided to work at Ubisoft. Uh, I was referred by Miss Harvey, my friend, and a few projects were interested, and then I got picked up. So people asking me why I got picked up to Ubisoft, I feel how I sold myself is that I said, okay, look, what I, I what I did so far, I marketed myself shamelessly, but I did market myself, and it seems like it worked because my channels were pretty successful. Um, so what I did for me, I can do for you. And I have this kind of community around my stream. I have like viewers who come back, and I try to be invested with them and reply to everything that I get sent. Um, and I was like, I can do that for Ubisoft. So basically, I got hired as community developer so that's that's my job that's me working at Ubisoft so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it replies to your question if uh, you were wondering how I got my job I cannot disclose uh, more about it because I'm under NDA and the title I'm working on is non-disclosable so thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next Live in Pink Land Live in Pinkland, signing off. Live in Pinkland, signing off. Wow, this song is quite awful, but I know you like it, right? <laughs>